Hi, welcome back to Wine Mastery. We are going to taste a dessert wine, but in episode 466, John informed me that Tokai was the king of dessert wines. So I spent an enormous amount of money. <laughs> <laughs> to buy one in order that I can taste the king of wines and we're going to taste it now. So here is the bottle. This is from Aldi. I know they, is it Aldi or Aldi? Um, I, I just, uh, depends where you come from. I, I guess. I'd, I'd say Aldi. But I um, mean, yeah, I think they're, they've got stores all around the world. Hopefully uh, you can get one of these. They do come in and out of uh, stock. So I really, really would like to tell you, because you know, John mentioned to me, as I said in episode 466, that this wine was like the king, it was really expensive. And uh, so I've searched around and I've found it's correct because this is the price. Ta-da! <laughs> 575. See, I, I mean, I, I, this, this is a fluke. There is absolutely nowhere I have ever seen this wine at this price, that is... So you, you see it cheaper? No, no, quite the opposite, John, quite the opposite. This is, as you say, a, a, the king of dessert wines. This is where it started. These are the guys, the, these are the ones that have made, have made forever the best dessert wine in the world. There's been, you know, whether you agree with that or not, but that's a, that is how it is kind of built, and that is a, the general consensus. So for, for that, 575 is absolutely unbelievable it is i mean it's a very a very good price i mean what would you normally have expected for this to be it's gonna hurt you john it's gonna hurt you well not because if i've only paid five cents oh, it may so, really feel good yeah a, a wine at, at this caliber and this again i don't know how they managed it it would be at least it's got to be the minimum 25 to to between 25 and 40 pounds. Wow! I feel like we're on the Antiques Road charge, you're just saying that like that. I didn't realise how uh, cheesy that sounded, but yes. <clears throat> yeah, about 40, 40, between 25 and 40 quid. That's whoa, the... so about 12 and a half percent of the, the, the... Wow, <laughs> it's, that's whoa! But that for 5.75, I don't know how you... Well, I do know you found it. I know who you are. <laughs> Audi, bless them. Well, you know, um, we don't know that it's going to be any good at the moment. We don't. Now, one thing, as soon as you look to the bottle, you start, you notice the thing under the title there called Five Poutons. Poutonias, yeah. Poutonias. Well, the Poutonias would, would dictate the level of, of quality or the level of sugars that are in there, which, again, the more sugar that's in there, the better, better quality it is. And it, it goes up to level six on Poutonias. Um, and you've got there a level five, so <clears throat> you know you're talking. You know you're that far away from the top dog, and five seventy five. It's just it's it's shocking to the core for me. It is. Well, well done, Audi. I, I, hopefully, the taste will support that uh, classification. I am hoping so, John. I'm hoping so. Okay, well let's 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 do let's have a look at the colour first, shall we? I'm gonna have a look in this camera this time. Yeah. Okay. So. It's, it's got this real deep, rich kind of, the, 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 the yellow, hun yeah. the honeyed colour in it's there, isn't golden, it? It's golden, isn't it? It's really golden. Lovely. Say, that, say that golden. That gold. It is, it is golden. you're right, it's golden. I mean, for a, for a pudding one, though, you, I expect it to be more like thicker around the glass, but it doesn't, but, but that, that makes no difference. <clears throat> but, do you know what I mean? So this is 11%. Yes, yeah, so it's not quite as because sometimes the pudding wines do tend to be a little bit um, yeah, yeah. more in alcohol. So let's. Um, well, I, I don't because obviously uh, the the sh if if the more alcohol the more alcoholic the wines normally the, the yeast has used more of the sugar. Yeah. So it stands to reason that if it's a sweet wine, it's not used as much as the sugar. Therefore, the alcohol content. It's been googling again. It's been googling. I can always tell you, know. right? So let's have a go on the nose. Oh. 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 Doesn't that? I, I don't know. know. I don't know why, but that just when I saw that, I thought my my mind immediately <coughs> went to an expensive restaurant. You know, okay. at the end of the meal, white tablecloth, silverware. No, uh, no, you know, I know I want a sweet. I'm just gonna have a glass of dessert wine, and that's it. It smells like like not just like well, it doesn't smell like honey. It practically is honey. Yeah. And um, but there's a spiciness underneath it, a spicy honey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Ah, oh, it's gorgeous. Isn't it? Okay, oh. so far so good, John. Oh. So far so good. Very, five, very good. Yeah, 575. Bloody brilliance. Oh. And I have to have a test. Yes, of course. Mmm. 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 Sublime. That oh. is. Oh. Who'd want to eat a dessert when you could drink that? Mm. Oh. I think you're going to have to look into seeing if you can get any more of that, John, because that is. That is delicious, isn't it? Whoa. That is top, top draw. <clears throat> Right, so I'm going to try, I'm going to try and talk us through the food. Now, the honey, it is, oh, it's, it's like a classy mead. It's like an upmarket mead. But, but what you've got this with a lot of dessert wines, I've said this before, a lot of dessert wines have that, um, that much sugar and that cloyiness, which, yeah, you get that sweetness, but it hangs around and leaves almost like a fake sugary coating on your teeth. But this has just got that nice amount of acidity so you've got that honeyed and it is a honeyed flavour yeah it couldn't be more like honey if it was honey do, do you know and then and then the, the acidity comes not not in any harsh way it just cleans the palate so you just left so you do, the cloyiness isn't there but the flavour is mm. it is yeah and and actually look look i mean i'm i'm this is unusual mm. for me to be ahead of you it is it is i think this one oh, also, I think, and I don't think I've ever said this before, but this represents more than just like a wine. It's almost like a, a heritage, a kind of, um, a, a, um, how would you describe You know, this is hundreds of years, not this particular one, but it's hundreds of years of old. This tradition. is a, Yeah, it's a tradition. And you can imagine the guy who's just got married, you know, 300 years ago, like, you know, in Hungary, in Hungary, just got married. We'll have some Tokai and him tasting this for the first time and getting drunk on Tokai. Mm. Mm. Whatever it might have been, there's so many of. Yeah, or, or they've just uh, just had their first child, or it's just, yeah. Yeah, and th this is. Not the second child, they wouldn't do it with the second child as well. No, why would, why would it? You, but they put me of kind of um, class and wealth and not uh, what was, again, decadence, the decadence that this is offering. This wouldn't be that something that would have every day. This would be there, and you pick this up for five seventy-five. There, I mean, I think there's there is something about drinking something that you know someone three, four, maybe five hundred years ago had exactly the same same sensation. There's that link back to the past, that tradition. It really, really does, you know, it's connect not, with you. Yeah, it's not changed. Like, could I, could I, you know what? This it could, it could almost you know get a, get a tear from my eye. This. That and that, that in itself, the flavour, delicious, but everything that goes with that wine and the heritage goes with it. John, how you got that for that money? Well, I just walked into the shop and. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but I'm, I tell you, I'm going to do something I, I don't think I've ever done before, and that's for myself. I have never seen this before, John. Never. No. Would you like also a top up? John, I'm not going to say no to that. That is. Stunning, thank you, John. I almost feel like doing a d disservice by um, by drinking it. Well, yeah, because because it would have been such such an opulent, um, you know, uh, in the past, yeah, yeah. yeah. And so they would have appreciate. We are appreciating it. It's not as if we're yeah, yeah, absolutely. And I, you know, uh, if it's the sort of prices you were talking about, I mean, you know, there are still those that are. I mean, I'm not sure how they managed to, to get that for this, it, this price. It must be an end, what's end of line. There's no such thing as an end of line for Tokai. It must be they may have got some cases that were perhaps at a bin ends or, or something. And that's what they specialise in is, you know, finding these products. So I can't knock them for one minute, but what I will uh, ask John is... I think they also sometimes, you know, the, 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 the supermarkets like Ali will actually pay up front. So the, the, the farmer, the, the vin hasn't got any risk. You know, he's got the right. money up front, so. But can you can... Um, yeah, but whatever, that has made it, from the point of view of them, you know, putting their money in where their mouth is, and, you know, from the point of view of the consumer, that is a fantastic deal. Fantastic. It's, it's almost like I need to take a minute with that. You know, that whole, I mean, absolutely cock on. Couldn't ask for anything more, and... 
Well, that's, that is my complete reaction. So I don't know how I'm going to go with this now, John. I mean, uh, um, <laughs> you can't really. Could you could you match cheese with this, or not? I probably could, but it's going to be something. It will be. It's going to have to be something. No. 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 I'm just going to say no. Just going to say no. I'm going to say no. Want I, to. I wouldn't you want, want to. to. No. no. And I wouldn't want to. I, I would actually swap the dessert for this. If I was forced to say something, uh, then then I would say I'd, I'd go for something like a, a sherry trifle, um, you know, that's got that sort of sweetness in it, and the, already the, the sherry. Um, so to, to come, you know, with this, or, or maybe a lemon crack or a creme brulee, something with mm. a lot of sugar in, um, and I think this probably would. But actually, personally, for preference, I wouldn't have the sweet. I just have this. Yeah, I I wouldn't want to waste the space. No. That this is going to take up, I'll be like, mm -hmm. I'm fine, thank you. Licking my lips and just kind of smacking of the lips. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> that just works so, so very well. And again, when it comes down to, now when this comes down to a score. Oh, wow, yeah, that's, that's. This is going to be difficult. It's going to be very difficult. Well, I'll, I'll turn around. Do you want me to score first or are you, you uh, happy to, to roll? I'll roll. Okay, you roll, I'll turn. Four, four. Right, I think um, this is delicious. It is delicious, absolutely stunning, superb. I can't find enough words to celebrate this. But the, the the best thing about this is that price. Yeah, this is unbelievably. You know, this is something. This is unheard of. This is an anomaly. So, and because that's an anomaly, I'm gonna have to give the an, an anomaly kind of um, score, which I would ne never usually throw out there. But this has to, this has to have, mmm, da da. Mmm. So I had to think about that. Go on. Okay. And I'm going to go for 95. Ooh! What, what, what? I, what? I was that close. I, I said 96. Okay. And I, I, I only. I only held back because we did a, a, a Ryoka a few videos back and in that that Ryoka really stood out for me and I gave it the best score I ever gave, which was 96. And I thought that deserves every bit as much, if not more, but I thought the price is an anomaly, so we just have to bring that back slightly. But that is the second time I've ever so yeah. Second time ever, uh, that, that second it's time, time I've done the height, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'm not sure I've done 95 before or not, um, but, you know, <sighs> certainly if I have, it's, uh, it's only been once or twice, if that. Um, so, yeah, what a phenomenal wine. And, yeah, as you say, for the price, 575. Man. Oh. 575. Yeah, I mean, it's like getting a nice bottle of champagne for 10 quid, isn't it? Yeah. It's, you know what I mean? It's like, whoa. Crikey, some of the wines we've tried at five. Yeah, yeah. 75. I mean, you know, it's only five. Let, just let that bit go, let that bit go. <laughs> but generally, well, yes, you need to. Um, yeah, that is. And just going back to the smell and the. T it's just. It just rolls on, doesn't it? It's everything. When, when you go back. Again, when they say when you go back, it's not. That, honey, it's not, it's not got boring. It comes back with a fresh vigour. This is what I am. Yeah. Yeah. Is it really that good? Oh, yes, it yeah, is. Yeah, that's it, it, is. is it? Yeah. You kind of lost a little bit in the, you kind of think, well, oh, and there it is. Yeah, so, there it is. Absolutely cracking, John. Oh, that was a, a beautiful tasting. Beautiful tasting. Well, guys, uh, if you give this a try, um, you know, it may not be available, but they do sort of tend to replenish. Uh, so it may not be in the moment, but I'm sure they'll be getting some back in. Um, have a go. Tell us what you think. Uh, phenomenal wine. Until the next time, when I'll be so pleased, so, so pleased, if we can match something as good as this. It'll take some doing. It will take some doing. Till next time, guys. Chin chin. Chin chin.